Wang Kamark was a native-born American born of Chinese immigrant parents in California in the 1870s. He had made several trips to China a few times before, but in 1894 he goes again and he comes back through San Francisco. And at that time, the San Francisco Collector of Customs is a well-known anti-Chinese opponent named John Wise. And he was eager for a test case to have the U.S. government consider, is there such a thing as a native-born Chinese American who can be a U.S. citizen if his parents are ineligible for citizenship under the nation's naturalization laws? So even though Wang Kamark had been allowed to re-enter the United States a few times before as a native citizen born in the United States, John Wise decides to deny him re-entry in 1894. At stake was a bedrock constitutional issue. Under the 14th Amendment, could a Chinese American born in the U.S. of immigrant parents be considered an American citizen or not? The U.S. attorney, arguing the government's case, insisted that even though Wong Kim Ark had been born in the United States, it was an accident of birth that did not override the fact that his parents were foreigners, ineligible for citizenship. Wong Kim Ark fought it all the way to the Supreme Court to establish something that we take for granted today. In 1898, in a landmark ruling, the U.S. Supreme Court, citing the Citizenship Clause of the 14th Amendment, ruled that Wong Kim Ark, like anyone else born on American soil, was an American citizen. And this is the case, this is the precedent that establishes a U.S. birthright citizenship for all. Wong Kim Ark of 1898 this is really important because it secures the citizenship status of Chinese born in the United States and all children born of immigrants in the United States. 